おはよう会長それでも女かよ嬉しいわよ Kampfer follows Natsuru Senu, a high school student who has chosen to become a Kampfer, a warrior who is tasked with fighting other Kampfers. The catch is that all Kampfers are required to be female, so Natsuru finds himself transforming into a girl whenever he enters into combat. Along with his fellow female Kampfers, he must battle for the chance to become the ultimate Kampfer and uncover the truth behind the mysterious organization that is controlling their battles. As Natsuru Senu awakens one morning, He finds himself in a state of bewilderment as he discovers that he has transformed into a woman. Suddenly, a stuffed animal tiger by the name of Disemboweled Tiger appears before him and identifies itself as a messenger. It informs Natsuru that he has become a Kampfer and must engage in battles with other Kampfer. However, there is a catch. Kampfer must be female. Without warning, Natsuru is transformed into a female version of himself. As the morning breaks, Natsuru finds himself being attacked by another Kampfer, a girl named Akane Mishima, who is wielding a deadly sidearm. Being the valiant hero that he is, Natsuru comes to the aid of his friend Kaede Sakura and protects her from Akane's vicious attack. However, the battle is far from over, as a falling lamppost endangers Akane's life, compelling Natsuru to rescue her. The following day, Natsuru is approached by a shy girl who is none other than Akane herself. Surprisingly, she looks completely different in appearance and personality when in camphor form. She shares with Natsuru everything she knows about camphor, even helping him with his transformation. Due to their bracelets being the same color blue, they are allies and are referred to as blue camphor. Their arch enemies are the red camphor, easily distinguishable by their red bracelets. At the end of a long day, Natsuru receives a shocking revelation from Kaide. Who admits that she has fallen head over heels for his camphor form. With the situation becoming more complex, Natsuru seeks advice from Akane the next day. However, their meeting is interrupted by another hidden camphor who attacks them in the school library. When Kaide suddenly appears in the midst of the wreckage, Akane assumes she is the enemy and shoots her gun at her. As Akane's finger tightens on the trigger, Natsuru leaps into action, blocking her shot and saving Kaide's life. But their relief is short lived as the attacker slips away in the chaos of the ringing school bell. Natsuru can't shake the feeling of danger now that he knows the enemy goes to their school. He's on high alert, watching every move of the other girls around him. When Shizuku, the student council president, interrogates Natsuru and Akane about the incident, they're careful with their words. Natsuru promises to show Kaede his comfort form the next day, hoping to gain her trust. But things don't go according to plan when Kaede surprises them all by asking Natsuru out. Despite Akane and their messenger's suggestions to make Kaede hate Natsuru's camphor form, she seems to have accepted him for who he is. The plot thickens when Natsuru discovers that Shizuku is the enemy camphor. He and Akane struggle to fight against her, but eventually manage to stop her. In a surprising twist, Natsuru makes a deal with Shizuku to spare her life if she leaves Kaede alone. But the rumors about camphor Natsuru continue to circulate. So Shizuku enrolls him in the girl's side of the school to keep him safe. Before we continue, take a moment to answer the question of the day. What is your favorite anime genre? Comment down below for a chance to be shouted out. Now back to the recap. Natsuru steps into the girl's side of the school, feeling a mix of excitement and apprehension as he enters Akane's class. From the moment he arrives, he becomes the center of attention, with the girls fawning over him and his charming smile. It's not long before Kaede, a girl with a crush on Natsuru, Confesses her love to him, but before he can answer, his bracelet suddenly flashes, interrupting the moment. As Natsuru tries to make sense of the situation, he finds himself in the spotlight once again, this time with the newspaper club eagerly interviewing him. However, their article isn't exactly flattering, and rumors begin to spread like wildfire throughout the school. Despite this, Kaede stands up for Natsuru and refutes most of the dubious claims, bringing some much needed relief to the situation. However, the calm doesn't last for long, as Shizuku starts to spread a new rumor that female Natsuru is dating the male one. Feeling overwhelmed, 
Natsuru retreats to the library hoping to find some solace. But just as he starts to relax, he transforms back into his male form, only to have Akane reprimand and trip onto him, resulting in a compromising position. Unfortunately, Katie happens to catch sight of the scene and jumps to conclusions, vowing to compete with other girls for comfort Natsuru's love. As the cultural festival quickly approaches, Natsuru is utterly astonished to discover that Shizuku has secretly entered him into the Miss Seitetsu beauty contest. In an attempt to be spared from the humiliation, Natsuru generously offers Shizuku a shoulder massage, hoping to be replaced. But just as he thinks he's in the clear, Akane bursts onto the scene, brandishing her trusty gun and completely derailing the deal. With no other options, Natsuru reluctantly agrees to compete in the beauty contest. In order to stand out from the crowd, he and Akane decide to perform a karaoke act, which involves shopping for lingerie. However, things take a turn for the wild and crazy when Shizuku joins in on the shopping spree. The group later heads to a karaoke bar where they are joined by Kaede. As they sing their hearts out, Akane, Shizuku, and Kaede all vie for the chance to perform a duet with Natsuru. Meanwhile, Kaede tries to elicit a response from Natsuru regarding her confession, but he is too preoccupied with the possibility of transforming again. As tensions begin to rise, Akane and Kaede get into a heated argument over Kaede's attempt to confess behind Akane's back. And to make matters worse, all three girls, Akane, Shizuku, and Kaede, decide to enter the beauty contest themselves, leaving Natsuru completely shocked and dismayed. As the cultural festival is about to begin, the excitement in the air is palpable. The class has been working hard to dress Natsuru and Akane in various costumes for the highly anticipated Miss Seitetsu beauty contest. In the bustling changing room, the tension between Kaede and Akane reaches a boiling point as Kaede interrupts the two of them and starts another argument. Later on, Natsuru meets up with Kaede and tries to offer her some words of encouragement. Despite his best efforts, Kaede still sees him as a rival. The day of the beauty contest arrives, and Natsuru realizes that he doesn't have an act. But just when things seem hopeless, Kaede appears on stage and performs a skit, throwing a bouquet into the audience. As Kaede and Natsuru almost share a kiss, their moment is abruptly interrupted by Akane in her comfort form, who starts shooting at them. The chaos only intensifies when Shizuku appears and knocks everyone else unconscious, winning the contest by default. After the contest, Natsuru wakes up in his male form, only to have his first kiss stolen by the victorious Shizuku. Meanwhile, Mikoto Kondo, Natsuru's childhood friend who caught Sakura's bouquet, discovers a mysterious messenger, strangled stray dog, inside it. Before we continue, big shout out to Jeremiah Perima who commented, in his imagination, laughing my ass off. When answering the question of the day on our Rent a Girlfriend video, thanks. Natsuru can hardly believe her eyes when she sees Mikoto, her long lost childhood friend standing before her. Excited to catch up with her friend, she heads to school as usual, but is quickly thrown into a quasi-made cafe without warning. Just when Natsuru starts to feel overwhelmed, Shizuku appears and warns her of a new camphor who will be arriving soon. As they wait for the new arrival, Kaede joins them, and Shizuku subtly interrogates her to see if she knows anything about the camphor or the entrails animals that spawn them. In the midst of all this, Kaede shocks Natsuru by asking for a kiss. But Natsuru politely declines, suggesting instead that they go on a date during the festival. However, their plans are disrupted when they enter a haunted house and Natsuru is attacked by the new red camphor. It's not until Natsuru takes a closer look that she realizes the attacker is none other than Mikoto. Just when the situation seems hopeless, Akane intervenes, and the fight is brought to a halt by Shizuku, who demands to know Natsuru and Akane's true identities. Once everyone is on the same page, Shizuku agrees to a truce, but not before she reveals her true motives. Meanwhile, Natsuru apologizes to Kaede for leaving her behind, and Kaede extends an invitation to spend the night at her house. What will happen next? Find out on our next recap of Kempfer.